I'm going to be hacking in Minecraft. But not in the traditional sense, no no no. I'm going to be hacking by the book. You see, there is a physical guide that teaches you how to cheat in Minecraft. Kind of. The official guide to Minecraft hacks. And me being 10 when I found this book at a bookstore, I thought it was going to be a book all about hacking in Minecraft and what hack clients to use. And guess who bought the book for $13 before even opening up the first page. But hey, now I know how to hack better than anyone else. For example, get a load of this hack. Bedrock at the bottom of the world is actually the gateway between the overworld and the nether. Bet you didn't know that one. But with that aside, let's hack Minecraft with this incredibly scuffed guide. Alright, let's generate up a world and just see where we spawn. Alright, nothing- Oh sh- No thank you. I'll see you later. So this guide is only for the most elite Minecrafters, so tools in a base are pretty much a given. Your first home was probably a square on the side of a mountain. Well, they're not wrong. Let's see how the guide does- Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll stick with my square. To make sure we don't get lost while exploring, the guide recommends we piss everyone off by cutting holes in trees. They also recommend we build these kind of markers, but I'm getting some mixed feelings about them. Build a giant massive beacon on top of your base. But how do I get down? Eh, whatever. Totally worth it. Become a US president and build a three block tall perimeter around your base to protect it from monsters. Okay, you're the boss. Perfect. Home sweet home. Alright, we finished the base, now it's finally time to go mining. The guide recommends we always bring the essentials. A stack of torches, a crafting table, several pickaxes, a stack of wood blocks, and plenty of food. Alright. This ravine will have to do. To get down, the guide recommends we make sand fall and make a pillar and then dig all the way down it. And this seems alright until you realize we can just dig down the side of the ravine. Why didn't I just do that? Oh sweet, iron. Place a torch on the wall every three blocks. Ah, so this is why I brought a stack of torches. <gasps> Diamonds. But how do I get to them? Hey YOLO. Oh my god, there's so many creepers, what the hell? According to the guide, you can't take damage from monsters while in a boat. Okay, so that was a complete lie. Stuff acquired, and diamonds acquired too. Oh wait, but there's more there. Sweet. Yes, sir. Diamond sword, diamond pickaxe, and a diamond chestplate. We are looking good now. I think it's time, though, we paid our little neighbors a visit. Shh, we gotta be sneaky so they can't see us. Nah, screw it. Charge! Clicking fast and blocking, your sword will help repeat tremendously. Uh, guide, you're about six years too late. Oh no, things are not looking good. Luckily, the guide told me not to stress. Oh. Things are looking real hairy. Oh, oh god, that's too much for me. Need a bit of a breather. Admittedly, that didn't go so well, but luckily the guide has a ton of tutorials on how to get better at PvP. It recommends opening up a creative world, giving yourself a kit of armor, weapons, and food, and fighting the mobs around you. Wait, this is surprisingly easy. Oh, I have to change the game mode to survival. Yeah, that makes sense. Ugh, finally killed them all. Alright, pillagers, time for round two. Let's go! Woo! We did it. Finally. That wasn't even that bad. And just one more thing before I say goodbye. Burn, tower, burn! Did you know you can place a pig in a Minecraft? I named him Gerard. Alright, I think it's finally time we try and beat the game. Wait, what? what's that in the distance? Oh, sick, it's a village. Ooh, I'll be yoinking this, thank you. You have a popularity score with each village. It starts at zero and increases to a high of ten. Well, if popularity was anything like high school... 
To atone for my sins, I think I'm gonna protect this village. The guy says to remove all the cacti, build a perimeter around the village, and light everything up to seal the deal. It also says to cover the bottom of the well in case a villager hops in. Oh, that was a close one. Could have drowned. You're welcome, bud. Huh, what kind of vlog? Oh, no, 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 give me a heart attack. Jesus. Bees, stay back, stay back. I don't want to hurt. Stay back, bees, stay back. You didn't see what I did to your friends back there now, did you? We're, we're chill, right? Yeah, we're, we're chill. Good. <laughs> what a lovely sight to behold in the distance. The carnage of my enemy. Oh, a dog! I'll get some bones for you, little buddy. You seem like you're in danger. Oh, ungrateful little- Alright, it's finally nether time. The guide says we can make a 10 block portal, but they also recommend a 23 by 23. Go big or go home, I guess. Alright, the guide also gives the checklist for the nether. We need a full set of armor, okay, I have, you know, I'm getting there. As well as potions? How am I supposed to get potions if I haven't gone into the nether? Huh. I'll also need enchanted weapons and tools, swords, bows, pickaxes, plenty of cobblestone, gravel and a shovel, and ladders to help me climb. As well as chests, wood, and iron. Oh, what? There's more? Bring golden apples and enchanted golden apples? Yeah, that's not happening. Since your chances of dying in the nether are high, leave very valuable items at home in a chest. Oh, perfect. Hey, let's go, we're finally in the nether. We should secure our portal with cobblestone according to the guide. And even better, create a roofed base of operations around our nether portal. Heck yeah, that is what I'm talking about. This is the best part of the day. Alright, let's go looking for a fortress. But where to? Gotta be careful, can't die. Oh, sh Whoa, Jesus, that almost- wow. Hey, a fortress! Let's go! Blaze farming time! While we're here, I might as well farm some Endermen too. Don't use the bed in the nether! What do they think I am? Was I born yesterday? Ah, back at our roof base of operations. It is good to be back. And back in the overworld too. Whew, thank god. Hey, Gerard. Okay, there is a lot we have to take to the end. Full enchanted diamond armor and tools. Oh no. Alright, what next? That was painful. Two stacks of arrows? 32, take it or leave it. Tons of ladders, gravel for pillaring, cause that totally went well last time, a pickaxe, and a stack of obsidian? Okay then. Yeah, no. I also don't have pumpkins, but hopefully I'll find those along the way. Food check. Alright, let's go. I'll be taking these beds, thank you very much. Hey, pumpkins. Oh, it's down here. Sweet. There we go, there it is. Now, where is the actual portal room? Ah, finally found it. Take care of the silverfish and light this baby up. You'll probably die, so set your spawn, yada yada yada. Did someone say base of operations? Craft those, put those in there. Let's do this, I'm ready. I hope. Good hit. Give me a few more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, finally, let's freaking go! Woo! We did it! But what now? Multiplayer, huh? Sounds like it could be a fun time. Whoa, what? 
This is so epic, what the heck? Hello everyone, how's it going? This is so cool. Dang, I can't wait to play more here.